Okay, folks, what I did at this time right now, um, I guess at this point, I added some lights, all right? I'm just going to demonstrate how I did that. All right, so we have a furniture source right here. It's a beautiful light, and it's basically furniture with no power on it. So basically, look, if I take the eyedropper here, so you can see, it's, it's basically about reflection and color. I would leave it at that. Same thing over here. If I select this one here, and just in case, let's go down to move, and where is it? Right here. Okay, if I click on this here, there you go. And the eyedropper coming back, and we got this. All right. So, okay, it just has fabric as you can see, and probably wood over here. Yeah, cord, uh, not that. Sorry, there. That's it. This is the two materials. Again, there is no light setting for these. Okay, they're not alive. Um, all right, so escape. And back to move tool here, translate. All right, so what we'll do is we'll come back here, and you can see we have light sources. Okay. So there's a spotlight and so on. These are very powerful. As you can see, if I click on one, um, let's say you can dr drop and drag, okay? So what I did over here, as you can see this one here, is basically a horizontal light, right? So look at that. I'll just make another one right here. You can see this is the one here, neon light. I just basically did that on that wall. So here it is, and I have it, and I'll just leave it like that. Or I can even bring it down to the ground, right? Like, look at this. There it is. I could even put it behind her like that. That's kind of nice. Ambient lighting down there. Um, okay, so there's that light source. And what I'm going to do now, um, if you look here, I believe the IES one right there, yeah, is this one. Okay, so I'll just delete that and I'll just bring a light in and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so it's pointing up, right? So what I'll do is I'll just take one of these lights. As you can see right now, these lights are all pointing down. Okay, so let's take this one. And I'm just going to drag it here. There you go. Okay, right there. So what happens now, I want to rotate this, and I'm holding this around. So one of the options you, you have is right now is hide that ceiling, okay? What I did earlier, <clears throat> pardon me, is I named it, right? So there's my ceiling, for example, and I just go hid, right? And there's the outside light. So we're, we're dealing with lights at this point. As you can see, if I select this right now, there it is. This is the, basically the cone uh, for it. It's IES 29. So what do we have here? The angle. You know, look at that, it's more focused. You can see this angle here is changing. What I'm going to do is going to press 5 to rotate. Oops, sorry, just in here. Or you can do it from here. Click on the arrow and go to rotate, right? And then we'll just rotate it up. So basically, sometimes, you know, the, the ceiling will be, you know, in a way affecting your choices. So that's how I hit it. So that's one of the beautiful things of naming your items. So you know to come back and put it back on. Right now it's okay. And I can increase the intensity, for example. There it is. And what I'll do right now is I'll try to match it inside the, um, the actual light source itself, okay, the furniture. So right now I'm just eyeballing it again. So perhaps I will go back and hide my ceiling one more time. Come in here, as I said to you guys before, orthographic top view would work much better because now you can see here, press there's my light source. So you see, I'm a little off, so this is much easier. And she's, she's awake. There she is, um, hanging out, waiting for us. Okay, so here's the light source. Get the, uh, I can just go in the middle here and bring it like that. That's cool. And I can come back and go back to my perspective view, for example, right here. And then I'll say, okay, that's kind of close. How about we bring it inside the source itself? Okay, then you can, deal, you can play with intensity and so on. At this point, that works. All right, I'll go back to my ceiling, bring it in. As you can see right now, outside is daytime, right? So what I want to do is actually change that to evening, and I'll come over here as my daytime, and I'll change the hour. As you can see now, look how beautiful this is. All right, so this is giving me an opportunity uh, to take a picture. So I can make it even uh, later in the day. It's also about 7.20 right now. So here it is, okay? So we have uh, a light from here, okay? We have a light there. And you can see all my light, neon light right here, selecting neon light number two, just by the window. And I'm just kind of creating an artificial reflection from outside. Neon light three in the bottom. Uh, IES here, there's the light. Okay, you can play with angles. See, you can go out more. We can do something like that. That's kind of nice, the intensity. I mean, that's a little too much. All right, so that's, it's, it's just, you know, basically it's a very intuitive exercise without getting too technical for students in elementary and secondary middle school all the same i think to keep it intuitive is the way to go 
So at this point, here's my second light there. As you can see, I brought it in, same method, and I could rotate the light up and so on. And I can rotate it this way and so on. If I can bring it towards the camera. Okay, so that's basically the method of doing this. So the next video will probably show you taking an image of this and um, having an image and controlling things further. Okay, thank you very much. This is good for now. Bye-bye.